going on everybody? Welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Avon S10 gas mask. So this gas mask is a gas mask that the British SAS used to use. Um, this gas mask in particular is from 1987. I don't know if you could see it on there, but it says 1987. This gas mask in particular is a really, really good gas mask. Technically it is... Um, off its shelf life as they only really last about 10 to 15 years um, if they're in good condition and they're kept in good good condition technically I cannot use this because um, I don't know if you can see it's very very dirty the inside is a bit dirty as well um, this filter I have got is a 40 millimeter um, I, I think it's an, probably a NATO training filter as you can see this red dot here basically means it's a training filter um, and I don't know if you can hear but if you can hear it rattling that means your filters expired so technically this filter won't be able to help but yeah this this is basically just a training filter um, I don't know if this is a P3 or it might be a CPRN filter uh, if you want me to do any sort of video on filters in the next couple weeks tell me uh, but yeah if you, if you hear your filter rattling, it's expired. But yeah, if we go over the gas mask, so this gas mask is uh, size three because apparently I have a small head. Uh, I didn't realize that size three was the smallest. I thought size one was the smallest, but size three is small, size two is medium, size one is large, and size four I think is extra small. So. First of all, the gas mask is amazing. I really, really like how it's basically just made. Avon did a really, really good job of making this. Um, so here we have the just the XL valve. Uh, we also have a drinking straw, if I can get it out. Um, it, it is very, very tight because uh, this gas mask hasn't been used in a long time. But yeah, basically... It's just drinking uh, till you put it in a little bottle. I'll put it on screen now of what the bottle looks like. And yeah, there should be also a straw inside, but I haven't I haven't got one. Um, this mask came from uh, I can't remember where I got it, but yeah, I've had it I've had it for a very long time. But yeah, I mean you can pick parts up before you can pick up the XL valve and intake valve. This is a dual filter, so you can have one filter on this side and one filter on this side. I will obviously put the mask on in a couple of minutes. But for, for now, I've got the filter on the left because um, I shoot a gun with, with my right hand. Um, so the filter should always go on the opposite side of what you shoot. So if you're left-handed and you shoot you know, left-handed, the filter should be on the right. So here we go. We've got the filter intake where you breathe and stuff. Um, just a disclaimer, this will not save your life if there's no oxygen. Gas masks do not just supply oxygen. If you want an oxygen mask, then you probably want to go for one of the fire, um, fire and rescue, like, respirators. This will not save your life if there's no oxygen. The only time this will uh, save your life if there's oxygen and separates all the filter, basically the particles and stuff. But yeah, this will not save your life if there's no oxygen. Here we got the filter intake. You, obviously you can switch it around. Um, it's pretty good condition. Um, everything seems to be really, really tight. Here we got the XL valve. And here we have a voice diaphragm, uh, which is a really, really good um, voice diaphragm. Um, you can connect a radio piece. I don't actually have any of the pieces. But you can connect a radio to it. And basically you can talk to... The teammates or whatever you want to call them when you're in war um please please do not you buy one of these masks and use them for airsoft these will shatter instantly um if you want me to do some sort of test on the eyepieces i will do but these these will shatter instantly they're, they're only um i think they're polycarbon so yeah they shatter instantly one bb pellet instant they are plastic polycarbon like i said but yeah, these will, you'll, you'll be blind after this. If you want to get a, um, something like this for Airsoft, then I recommend you buy them one, like, dedicated to Airsoft. Please do not use this as your eyes, you'll have no eyes left. But yeah, I don't have a bag for it, any, anything. But yeah, inside, I don't know if you can see, is the um, intake valve, and then this one obviously is the XL valve. So you breathe in this way, 
oh, you're breathing this way, it goes through the mask in here, and then you basically exhale through here. So, let's get the mask on. Okay, now I'm gonna die. Right, so I've got the mask on right now. It's feeling very, very tight around um, around here, which is meant to. You've got these straps and stuff where you can basically take it off. But yeah, I mean, the valves work. I am going to take it off because you can hardly breathe in one of these without a filter. Um, like I said, I don't know if you heard me or anything. But yeah, this is a really, really good mask. So if you want to buy one of these, you can buy them on eBay. They're not very much i think um i think you could pick them up around about 20 30 pound i will leave some links in the description if you want to buy one these are really really good gas masks um yeah if you want to buy one do it if you want me to do any sort of other videos on gas masks please tell me i probably got a fm12 gas mask review coming up i really want to buy one of them because they're basically an upgraded one from this um i also got a cleaning video i don't know if you can see but this is very, very dirty. It's not very good. Um, but yeah, if you've got any problems or anything, tell me in the comments and I will uh, I will help you out as much as I can. Filters as well, if you want me to do some sort of video on a filter. Obviously, this filter hasn't got any sort of like intake when a normal filter will have some sort of hole and then it'll go through all the uh, charcoal and stuff like that. But yeah, this is basically just a dedicated training filter. This is not actually like, like I said, if it rattles, it's expired. This expired. Is there a date on here? Um, <clears throat> yeah, there is a date. 7th of December, 1976, this filter's from. So yeah, you don't want to be putting this filter on. This might... Um, I don't know, <clears throat> but yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to put this filter on because it's very, very bad for you. But yeah, if you want me to do any sort of uh, more videos of like this, please subscribe to the channel and tell me down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.